This is David Wolford with the Google Guru. Today I want to show you how to use uh, Google Slides to make a newsletter for your classroom or for school. Um, I've had several teachers ask me um, what they could use in replacement for Microsoft Publisher or one of the other editing programs they used in a Windows based desktop. So I have the great way of using Google Slides. So let's take a look at how to do that. First, you open up Google Slides. I would select a blank presentation. And then I would select a blank page, because then you can create it from scratch. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change it into an actual newspaper form, which would mean it would need to be landscape and not portrait. There is no landscape or portrait setting on here. But what you can do is go to page setup and change it to custom. When you do that, just go to 8.5 by 11. And if you'll notice, it turns into the type of page that you want it to. Now, I, you, you have the options here, but then you got to go with moving. Personally, my preference, I like to just start from scratch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the title box by adding a text box. And I'll put in the name of one of the schools in the corporation that I work for. Jimtown Junior High School Newsletter December 13th, 2015. Now you can go in here after you've done all the typing. Make it as big as you want so it stands out. Center it. And then to make sure this stands out as the title, I would come over here, add a line that encompasses it all, and then make it a big line so it stands out. So now you've got your newsletter. You can change the color of the line if you want. You can edit it however you want. Now I want to add my first article. So I'm going to insert a text box, text box, size it a certain way, and now I have some already set up samples of some things that I've done as far as text. So I'm going to just copy and paste that right into there. And it talks about one of our schools playing in a basketball championship. So here's the text. Now. I want to add a picture for this. So what you do is you go into insert image and you have many different options. You can take a snapshot, you can go to a URL, which is a web address. If you have your own images, you can put it in here um, or you can go to search and I'm just going to type in basketball because that's what we're looking at. You can pick whichever basketball you would like. I'm just going to keep it simple and go with this and insert it. Now it's going to bring it in. It'll be big, but then you can size it however you want. One of the things I really love about Google Slides is the way it shows you how things are lining up. If you notice that red line, that tells you that this basketball is centered with what's right above it, which in this case is the text. And I also noticed that I want, didn't make this centered, so I'm going to center the text or you can make it to the left, you can do whatever you want. Now, if you notice as I move it, it gives you different options that show you, okay, this is in good proportion, it's got the same measurements, it's got what you want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this lined up perfectly, leave it there. I'm going to create a, another text box, which I'll just click on the text box add it let's go ahead and add it down here now if you notice it shows you that it's about the same height as the text box up top so if you want to keep your spacing and everything the same that's a great way to do that I'll go ahead and go and pull text over from another presentation
Okay, now this is talking about a reward that they're getting for bringing in a thousand cans for Toys for Tots, and they get to use whatever technology they, they want. And of course, to keep the readers interested, we want to bring in an image. So we will go in here and put Toys for Tots, since that's what the fundraiser is about. And we'll see what image that comes up. If it comes up, there's a good one right here, right off the start. As you see, again, it starts off huge, but I'll make it smaller. I'll bring it over here. And you can see that red line. That red line means its top is the same spot as the top of the other text. Now, as you get this, if you click on this, you can move it around. Now you see I've got the lines going across horizontally and vertically. That tells you that it's centered with both pictures. So you keep it nice and organized. Okay, I want to add another piece of text. So I'm going to put the text up here. Again, this tells you it's about the same size. Go pull some text from something else I already did. So you know I have to watch me type. And this is talking about school's upcoming winter break. So we're going to pull in another picture. This time we're going to talk about schools out and see what pictures come up. Um, as you see, it didn't really come up with anything that I want, so I'm going to try something else. Let's do winter break. And this is part of it. Okay, there you go. An image is sleeping. What's better to do on winter break than to sleep, right? So you can resize it. I'm going to make it smaller. Put it over here. Make it smaller again. Pull it into the middle, get it lined up just the way you want it. And now I want to add just one more small part at the bottom. I want to add a note encouraging people if they want to become part of the newsletter staff to email our teacher that's in charge of it. So again, I'm pulling it in from another presentation. It's there, not quite the size that I wanted it to be, so we'll make it a little bit bigger. Center it, and I want this to stick out, so I'm going to make it have a line, but not quite as important, so I'm not gonna have it as dark, okay? So now you have, just a quick, simple, basic newsletter. You can set it up however you want. If you want to add another one, you just go over here to the add slide and you can start with another blank one and you can move them around as you want. You can play with these. Once you get done, you can save them. So you got a good basic template if you want to use the same format over and over. But um, I think this is an awesome substitute to use when you're moving from a Windows-based background to a Google Apps for Education environment.